This netting is coated with adultamethrin, which is a pyrethroid. And so originally this is used in um, poverty-stricken countries as a way to prevent malaria. Uh, vectoring mosquitoes to enter people's homes. And so what I'm doing here is not quite that. I'm actually um, using this netting as a way to prevent pests, especially stink bugs, which is my focus, from entering this. We have some shoe boxes that have antifreeze, and with that we are collecting any insects that hit the deltamethrin, which is supposed to be a dead on contact um, um, insecticide and they're, theoretically they're supposed to hit and fall. So the, those shoe boxes are supposed to collect both pests and beneficial. So we're trying to see what impact we're having on both. Currently this is being used on brown mar marmorated stink bugs. Um, so they're using this on apple orchards and uh, peppers. It doesn't necessarily have to cover an entire commercial field so you can have uh, breaks of this netting in between certain areas. So you can have 30 feet and then like 100 feet without it. We're not here to eradicate, we're here to control. It's one of the most important pests in soybean. It doesn't occur all throughout the season, but when it does, it's the most important. It's when it's developing pods and they feed on the pod. I have a lot of hopes for it. I mean, I'm seeing good numbers so far, and even I have untreated netting, even that's maybe doing not as much as the um, insecticide coated netting, but it's actually the disrupting the patterns of the insects migrating onto the soybean. With this netting, we're hoping that it, we can disrupt the use of um, spraying because spraying, not only do you spray on your target, a crop, you're also spraying whatever is around. And so what that does, it disrupts the um, beneficials around your crop. We're also looking at sampling methods. I'm also using a five gallon white bucket to collect. And also I'm comparing that to sweep nets. So I'm doing 10 uh, sweep nets per plot and seeing my insect population. I'm not just doing that here at this station at Princeton. I'm also going to Lyon County. Um, I'm going to McLean County and looking at their uh, soybean and uh, applying these two sampling methods.